so both equations describe the same ellipse. What we've done here for the particular equation, for the particular ellipse, can be done for any equation in the standard form. And what we'll get is what we call the general equation of an ellipse. Suppose we have the equation of an ellipse in the standard form. x minus 3 squared over 4 plus y squared over 10 is equal 1. We can transform this equation by eliminating the denominators and the parentheses. So, how do we do that? We multiply both sides by the least common denominator, which in this case is going to be 20. We'll obtain 5 times x minus 3 squared plus 2 times y squared equals 20. To remove the parentheses, we need to square binomial, so we'll have x squared minus 6x plus 9. We apply the formula for square of binomial, plus 2y squared minus 20. We subtract 20 from both sides to get 0 on the right-hand side. Distributing 5 gives 5x squared minus 30x plus, na plus 45 plus 2y squared minus 20 is equal 0. Combining like terms and writing the terms in the decreasing order of the exponents will give me 5x squared plus 2y squared minus 30x plus 25 is equal 0. This equation is called the general equation of the ellipse. This is the same equation as above, only in different form. They describe the same ellipse. We can do what we've done here for this particular example for any equation in standard form, and what we'll get is general equation of an ellipse. This equation can be written in the form ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals 0. The values of b and c are not necessarily the constants that are associated with the ellipse. But we have to assume here that the values of a and b have the same sign. So either both of them are positive or both of them are negative. If we see the equation of such form that contains two variables, we will know that this equation describes the, um, an ellipse if both variables x and y are squared and the equation contains that expression ax squared plus by squared and a and b are either both positive or both negative. We know then that we are dealing with an ellipse. 